Hey everybody, so today I am going to show you how to cheat a souffle. Now souffle is one of the hardest things to make, but don't worry, I have a foolproof way. See you soon. Um, um, so, so we're, we're live. Hello. Hello. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Sorry. What um, the heck was that? I was just under the sea. There's a little shark and under some fishies the sea. in the sea. There's no under mermaids the or manatees. Uh, yeah, I was just actually uh, getting into a bit of VR world because we have some exciting news coming up. We're going to do a little bit of 360 degree filming. Ben knows a bit more about that than me. It's I will fun. just I will be the star of the show as opposed to uh, yeah. So anyway, you guys can kind of come and cook with me in my kitchen without being with me. That sounds excellent. Anyway. Can do that. Hey Gigi, we are now we are back. Hi guys, we had some internet we back. issues, we had but some we internet. are back. We in are hopefully back. So fingers crossed. Let us know if it gets glitchy or anything. But today I am going to make. I was asked to make some more difficult recipes. I've never made a souffle or a souffle, as it's souffle. spelt, a souffle. souffle. Um, so I thought. How can I make one that is going to be a little bit more foolproof for people at home who aren't as confident? Because you've got to have your egg whites work properly and you've got to have stuff and... You've got to have stuff. Well, you've got to have stuff that works. Hi, Julia. Thank you for and giving us so a shout out. Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle. Hey, everybody. So there are two rules with souffles, souffles. or souffles. Grace. Hi, Grace. Number one, they have to taste really good because even if it fails, as long as it tastes good, uh, then you're winning anyway. So we're going to do a chocolate ginger sauce to go with it. And number two, you have to serve it instantly because as the heat changes, that's what causes a souffle yeah. to suddenly... See, I didn't know that. Yeah. Nice. That's why my souffle that I'm going to kind of show at the ends a little bit... Is that the technical phrase? Yes. When it, it goes. Is. Well, souffle is French and the French go <laughs> all the time. I do. So anyway, let's start cooking. So I'm essentially doing uh, two different elements here. I'm doing my actual souffle and I'm doing a sauce. Now the sauce you can use with anything. It's just a yummy chocolate ginger sauce, but mm. it's really nice you like with the, the ginger, souffle. Don't you? I do like ginger and yeah. chocolate. It's a, but it's do you know what? Stuff. It's warm. It's a, it's a warming spice. It is. It's, and it is so freezing at the moment that I love chucking a little bit of ginger in there. Get a bit of ginger in there. Now, so, Clyde, sorry, Clyde has just said that he likes uh, the chocolate self sorting pudding. Yeah. I love a bit of self sorting. So I know. I can't say it, but. Yeah, chocolate self sourcing pudding. So that reminds me, oh. thanks Clive. We have a competition going. Let us know in the comments what your favourite pud winter pudding is. And please share the video. When you're jumping share. on, please share. That'd be great. And, uh, and like us. And Rochelle and, Show and us Vern love. love the sticky date. Ooh, bit of butterscotch. Good old sticky oh, date. Nice. Another vote for the nice. chocolate self sourcing. I oh, must admit, my favourite pudding of all time is cow food pudding, which sounds disgusting, but it's not. My mum invented it. It's kind of like a self-sourcing pudding with a chocolate sauce, but mm. with a with a white sort of cake part of it. But it's all you can make in one dish. Looks like and a when uh, my brother was younger, mum used to make it to fill up all the teenagers in the house. And he said, "Oh, it looks like a cow poo." Because it's all cracked on the top. Because it's all cracked it's on cool. the top with a white. Pudding with the chocolate sauce and yeah, Lovely. so cow poo pudding. Anyway, so tell you what, Judy likes the sticky date as well. Oh, a bit uh, of and there's, there's a little bit of Alana. Well, welcome back, welcome Alana. Back. Self sourcing pudding. Yeah, a lot of self sourcing pudding. Anyway, yeah. ramekins. Yeah. Now, that sounds nice. Ramekins Ginger are a little bit pudding. tricky yeah. to find in the right size. So. If you've got ramekins smaller than this, it just means you're going to double your quantity of servings. However, I found these and I really liked the black. So we're having big servings today. Now, one of the tricks is to melt your butter and then when you're putting it on the sides, this is one thing to help 
the actual souffle raise. Now, I'm going up the sides with yeah. the butter. Okay, so that's really important. If you go round and round, it's going to not encourage the souffle to rise. So well, that's what sorry, you want to do. Can I just let you know something? Yes. The, the term ramekin, I just Googled it because that's yes. what I do, um, is from French, like you said, and it's usually a cheese or meat baked dish right. in a small mould, but it actually comes from the Flemish word ramekin, which translates to toast or roasted mincemeat. Huh. Weird. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, so now I put in a sprinkle of caster sugar and I'm actually coating the sides. Again, this will encourage your supple to rise. So, I've already done those two earlier because you didn't need to see me doing a oh, lot Alana, of those. Sorry, Alana just said apple pie with hokey pokey ice cream. Oh, Alana. oh good old yeah, hokey right. pokey ice cream. I like that. Right, now let's do the first part. And Ash is a big fun fan of pudding. Just pudding in general. Just pudding. Pudding in general. Ash likes not, pudding. Not going to say which specific one, just nope. going to go with pudding. Just pudding. Yep, makes sense. Probably means like a, you know, like a... Like a no, just pudding. Any, any just sort pudding. Of pudding. Put it there. He no likes way. pudding. Well done. John okay. has joined us. What is your favourite pudding, Jono? You let yep. us know. Let us know. Now, I've got 30 grams of butter in there. Excellent. I'm going to go over to the stove and uh, put that on a medium heat and try and melt that butter. Melt that butter. Melt, melt that, that butter. Butter, butter, butter. butter. Melt that butter. Well yes, you need to use butter. I'm sorry. And something like this, the flavours need to be intense. You need to be able to put the yummy flavours inside, even from your chocolate point of view. Yeah. I'm using a dark chocolate. I like the 85%, but you may be more 75 or you might like to go the full 90. It just depends on your flavour. Use a good quality chocolate and you're going to have a lot of a tastier product yeah, in the end. Oh, Nadia's just come out with the butterscotch pudding. Butterscotch? Yeah. Just straight out butterscotch. And Tracy loves the rice pudding. I'll, Tracy, I'm not a bad, big fan of the rice pudding, gotta say. I like rice pudding as long as I can have lots of strawberry jam with it. Mm. Yes. And Ash has confirmed the fact that he does like most puddings. Most puddings. Yes. General. Most. Puddings in general. Confirmed. So, now, it's kind of a bit weird, this chocolate souffle, because you start off almost making a roux sauce. So I've got uh, some flour, just plain flour, and some milk. And I'm going to go over oh. and see how my butter is melting at this stage. Looks like it's melting. Now, I'm also, I've am also i also preheated my oven. Oven? Your oven? My oven. Nothing like a preheated it's because oven? Nothing like a preheated oven. I think that's the French. I did watch Beauty and the Beast the other day. Oh. Oh. Um, so to 180 degrees Celsius on fan bake. So if you don't have fan bake, just crank that up a little bit. Just now, crank it up. Just put a note up there. Now you can watch all of these videos back, even though um, we've got a fair amount of people watching live. You can watch these videos back on the YouTube. So we try and get them yeah. back up on the YouTube as quick as possible. I think we've got about 120 odd videos up there now. So. Um, or if you today. just, or if you just want to sit back, relax, you know, and enjoy the show, and then watch it later, later. Yep. If, when you're actually cooking it. Exactly right. For tips, you can. Now my butter's melted. That's all I need to do, and I'm going to chuck my two tablespoons of flour in there, and I'm just kind of making like a roux sauce. So I just want to get that butter and that flour together, and there's some kind of chemical reaction that happens when you do that. It's called cooking. No? Cooking. <laughs> Cooking reaction. You're full of it reaction. today. I am. I've had, a, I've had challenges with the interwebs. So Challenges. Oh, no, okay, sorry. I'm going to have to interrupt here. Right. Kim has just brought out rhubarb and apple pie. Oh. One of my favourite all-time winter desserts is the rhubarb and apple pie. I love Honestly, rhubarb. it is just one of the best damn winter desserts you could ever possibly have. Rhubarb rocks. Yeah. It is so nice. It is. It is. Well done. The well leaves done. are highly toxic. Did you know that? Yeah, well, I don't eat the leaves. No, but they, they yeah. are. Yeah. Well, it's it's amazing how the hoppy. stalks can be so yum mm. and full yeah, of flavour. The leaves are all bung. And the leaves are highly toxic. Well done. So who, who's managing to keep himself warm over this, um, this winter? Warm and dry. Hopefully no one got washed away in floods and taken out by forestry trees and everything that was happening over the last little while. Yeah. That was pretty dodgy. Pretty anyway. scary. Uh, Lorraine, welcome back Lorraine, one of our earlier winners. She loves the chocolate self-sourcing pudding. Yeah. Lorraine, Yum. Um, 
you are one in keeping with about 42 other people. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone is loving the chocolate self sauce and stuff. I must admit, I do like the old Fijoa crumble. Mm. Yeah. That yeah, well, would you have bottle to be. the Fijoas during Chrissy and then break them out during winter. Yeah. That's the go. Yeah. Preserve them. Yeah. Sorry, so what are you doing at the moment? You're so just I'm just making a roux sauce. Now, it's really important to stir the flour all the way through. Isn't a roux sauce usually with cheese? It is. But you're not using, this hasn't got cheese, has it? No, no but if you were going to do a cheese souffle, this is, souffle, this is the same thing that you would do. Nice. So it just needs to be stirred nice and gently. So it just needs to be stirred here. until all those lumps and bumps are gone from your mm. uh, flour. Exactly. A flour. So right. now you just want to bring it um, up to sort of a boil, and then <laughs> that will start to thicken itself. <laughs> Sorry. Grace has <laughs> just said that. Apple pie from Macca's. Do you know what? There's nothing there's, wrong with there's that. There's nothing wrong with a good apple pie from Macca's except the fact when you bite it and it's and way it too hot. I know it says that little thing that says, hey, you know, be careful because you're yeah. putting your face Cushion, off. Yeah, cushion, hot, yes. contents. I don't usually listen to that. No. And Michelle, breaking out the self-sourcing pudding again. Nice. Tell you what, the self-sourcing pudding all over the show at the moment. No, I wonder if these are homemade self-sourcing puddings or are they yeah, like a store-bought? Because yeah. there's nothing wrong with the occasional store-bought job. Yeah. yeah and the good thing is, is that if you need more, I, I just never find they have enough sauce. No. The self-store-bought ones. Well, you can always, I always what, double you know, my here's sauce. A trick, here's a trick that I learned. Um, or didn't learn, I invented, is that you get chocolate pieces and when you do it, just nuke it just that little bit more afterwards. So poke the chocolate pieces inside your pudding and nuke it and then you get chocolate through the entire thing. So this so is, this is ben, a, ben cooking. Ben cooking. It's not a diet <laughs> recipe or anything. It's just ch chocolate through dessert. He thought he was so clever melting chocolate in the yes. microwave in his cake. <laughs> 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 Yay, Ben! <laughs> Yay, me and Mike <laughs> learning how to cook. <laughs> oh, oh, anyway, you can see how that's gone really nice and thick. Hello, Rednecks. Hey, Liesl's just joining us. So, Liesl, if you are joining us, this is how to make a cheat on souffle. This is a cheating souffle. A souffle. I don't, I don't even, I don't know how to make <laughs> normal souffles, so this is just entirely new to me, full stop. Oh, okay. But you could stick it in the microwave with some chocolate. <laughs> yeah. She's being mean to me. Yeah, Alana, I can't tell whether you're being sarcastic or... She says, Ben is so clever. I'm going to take that since I, she, she didn't add a winky face afterwards, Alana. Do you know what? Alana. It's probably a little bit more than other husbands would do. I think it's kind of weird that you made one for yourself and not for me, though. That, that was the mean thing. Was, it was a test, test one. Anyway, so we got to that stage, all right, everybody? Uh, so we're going to take that off the heat now. We are. And now this is my clever trick. Go. Okay. And ready. all the We're chefs, the, all the chefs in the world, and I hope Jimmy's not watching. Are going to go? Jimmy's <gasps> not there, but he might watch later. <gasps> <laughs> they blessed for me. <laughs> they will. They will. Okay. So I've got a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle that in. What is that? The, is that the thing? This is the thing. Baking powder. Baking powder, because baking Ooh. powder encourages stuff go. to rise. Ah. And what do we need the souffle to do? Rise. We need it to rise. I'm learning. But it will stabilise it a bit more. All right, then. That's the whole point. Now, I'm just going to pop that to the side. Now, I do need three yolks. Your yolk. No yolks. No yolks about So that. I need to separate yes. this. I'm trying to, hang on, not burn the... Don't burn it. Not burn the bench, but try and look flash and... Stuff. Fancy with my yolk separating. So you want to get... Now, we are using the whites as well, so don't Excellent. panic. But make sure your bowl is very clean and that you get no yolk in with your white. What, if, what happens if that happens? It just won't work. Oh, okay. So this is not one for me to try then? Well, no, you can. If your try, I guess, yolks, yeah. I mean, if, if your egg whites aren't whipping, it's either because you've got a little bit of yolk in there yep. or because there's, um, it w has water. So Yolana is learning too as well. She's never made a souffle. And what she says, well, what she hasn't said, but what I'm saying on um, Alana's behalf is that she's going to try once she's watched this video because you'll see how awesome it is. Awesome. Yes. 
Okay, so I've got Colleen's my three. grandmother made a chocolate self sourcing pudding. She's got a recipe. Mm. That's cool. Okay, yeah. so we're just going to pop our whites to the side. Now I'm going to Into go those. like this with my yolks. Oops, your yolks go in there. How yes. many yolks? How many eggs was that? Three. It's three eggs. Three eggs. And now you just okay. need to. Nice. Hey Mel. Beat so it. Everybody is saying self sourcing pudding. Self sourcing pudding. And Mel's done that again with the chocolate. Oh, Mel. Mel's lo loving them. Okay, I'm doing oh, it with the chocolate easy. now. So I've got some chocolate. Okay, well done. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Is that because it's healthy? Fur. No, it's no. just a, it's, it's a richer flavour. Oh, yum. You could do so it with good. normal chocolate. Holy dooly, that looks and nice. And we are over hoping, here. like heck, that oh, it's just it mixing is in nicely. Look at that. Going to, well, it's the heat of the... Oh, and what we've had on the pan, yeah. Right. Makes so sense. you can, you can sort of... Getting to mix that quite vigorously. Vigorously. Well, mm. I'm just pushing it round now. All right. Looks because like, this is yummy. the part that you can be rough. Right. There is a part that you can't be rough. Oh, tr uh, now, Tracy's gone all fancy with her dessert. Oh, all right. go on then. So everyone else is going self-sourcing. Tracy's yeah. having a sticky toffee pudding with salted caramel sauce and chantilly cream. Oh. It sounds very nice. And Do you know what? I could eat a bowl of chantilly cream <laughs> just by itself. Is that the vanilla one? Is that the sweet? What's yeah, the that's the one with or icing, sugar and vanilla. Yeah. Listen to me go. I'm like a chef and stuff. Well done. Yeah, chocolate in the microwave. Yeah. yeah. And Liesl, you're absolutely right. Comfort food. Dessert is a good comfort food in winter. And you know what? It's a really nice. good filler up in food. Yeah. For teenagers or just people Pull in general. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, pudding. so yeah, you can Alana's, see that. Grandma used to make the best rice pudding. I don't know. Slow cooker rice it's pudding is nice. It's not me. You're not I'm into afraid. stodgy though. I'm you just like? Not, no, I'm not. Oh, actually, no, you are. With uh, your. I just don't like rice pudding. You just yeah. No. Maybe you've never had a good one. No. Because I don't make it. No. Oh well, I don't know. Do you? I mean, you don't, probably don't bother. I don't bother because you don't need it. So we're going to do a 360 video. Yes. We're going to try a 360 video we're in virtual reality because that sounds like fun and I want to do something different. So we're going to put a 360 degree camera in the middle and then Kirsty's going to cook three different recipes all at the same time and stand in the middle and we're going to watch her in 360. Won't be live, but it will be cool. And the worst thing is I have to clean my house 360 degrees. degrees. Not just from this business. <laughs> So that's why it's taken some time. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we want to pop that away. Now right. I'm going to have to be noisy here because I'm wanting to whip my egg whites until they are stiff. All right then. So. In there. so I'm not sure how loud that is for you guys, but it's not too bad here. Hopefully it's okay. If you are just waiting for this to go, if you could share the video, it would be really appreciated. Or maybe you can hit those love buttons. Hit the love buttons, make it happen. Because um, that actually does help with the reach. You know, sort of reach and internet, Facebook and land. So hit the loves and we'll see how we go. And hopefully that's going to be looked up nice and easy very, very soon. Hello, Sarah. Good to see you joining us. So we're a bit of fun here. We're making the cheats version of the souffle. The souffle. Um, and Percy's taking us through. It's almost actually finished. I think it's like too far from being done. And we haven't been on the lives for a bit of a while because we've had a few internet issues, but we are back, back in action. We're in puppy shops, keeping ourselves warm by being in front of the oven uh, as we whip up the eggs. It's pretty clever, it's really cool to watch. Might just, uh, might just do a live stream of whipping egg whites. Anyway, if we did a live stream of. Thank you for the love, thank you for the love in there, thank you! Um, we did a live stream of one of the machines that we have at the factory mixing up spices. Um, it was, what was it mixing up? It was mixing up mixed uh, peppercorns. So the red and white and the black peppercorns, which was really, really cool. It's actually quite relaxing. Are you almost done there? Because I'm running out of things we have to say. Are you almost done? Miss Yelly, and we're done. Gosh, that's a lot quieter, isn't it? Well, I was just keeping on going because you were gabbering and... Oh. Well, you know, gabbering people, you people <laughs> like your gabbering. Yeah, Mel said it's hard to hear me. It's because of the noise of the thing. Sorry about that, everyone. Well, you've got to, because that's a really oh. important part. Oh, dear. It's a really vital part right there. Thank you for sharing, Mel. You're a star. Okay. Everyone.
So you want to just start. Oh, wait. And Sorry, Crystal just came up with slow cooker self sourcing pudding. Oh, that sounds nice. good. Well now, as you can see, my egg whites are nicely whipped and they are what is called dry. Oh, they are totally right. Dry whip. Nice. That. So we just want to like start off with a third. This part is a little bit painstaking. So you, are you folding it in so very, in, so you can try not to crush the... Because the, it's, the, crush it's the, the air of the egg whites. Thank that you for all the loves. Makes it all nice and Thank fluffy. You. And I hate Thanks folding. I hate folding it. Do I you? think it is a, yeah, it's Why? painstaking. But you have once, to fold in all of that? All of that. Oh, crikey, it'll be for hours. Well, well, we're minutes. not. We're not, okay. That's because right. I'm actually going to show you what I do. What? I know. <laughs> it's cheating. I know. Aren't you supposed to be folding it in gently? Yeah. But if you can get this first lot going, the rest of it's easier to fold in. <laughs> I'm glad there's no chefs watching. Jim no. Watching As I said, I'm though. not a chef. I'm a home cook. Home cook. Make it easy. Well done. Make it easy. So you can see that that mixture's become bit. a lot lighter oh, and doughier. Yeah. Which is going to make it easier to, fold, the rest of to it. fold the rest of it in. Oh, bread and butter pudding. I think I like good bread old, and butter pudding. Good old bread I and butter pudding. I like it if there's no sure. sultanas. And Margaret, thank you. Thank you for commenting on the group before as well. We are back. We had some internet issues, but we're back live Plus, with a competition. I must admit, I wasn't very well. Yay. I had a horrible cold and yes, souffle and... Nose juice does not go well together. <laughs> <laughs> so the competition is, tell us your favourite pudding. Astrid's is spicy butterscotch. Spicy butterscotch. Whoa, nice. Oh, what sort of spices, Astrid? Let us know. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, that sounds nice. Like spicy ginger spicy? Mmm. Or could you put, could you put, um... Like chilli spice. Chilli spice. Chilli spice. Chilli spice butterscotch pudding. That would be more yeah. nice. And Alana has said yes. She, she does the same as you, Kirsty. She just smashes it in there. So, yeah, which is not it. it's, it's not like you're supposed like to do. But if you do it for the first bit and then gently fold in the rest, then it works out okay. Because we've put that um, baking powder in there, it's, it's gonna just going to help stabilize nice. it a little bit. Nicer. A little bit. So join our group if you're part of the group. Jimmy yeah. posts, posts lots of really good recipes in there. Our chef Jimmy. And it um, also gives you guys a chance to post what you've made yeah, for exactly. dinner or what you've it. used or, yep. you know, questions that you're a bit embarrassed to ask yeah. or ideas. Like, like go through your cupboard, say, hey, I've got some of this. Me what do you guys use it for? To do and it's it. not us. It's everybody. Yeah. It's including yeah, it's not, us. It's not a Mrs. Rogersy group. It just happens to be we're sort of running it. It's all about everyone else getting involved. Tell now, you what, I'm not going to need to go to the gym I'm, today. There's a Keith Karen. Now, I'm going to guess that this possibly is a Karen and, and has a short shared Facebook account. Right. So Keith Karen, Keith a.k.a. Karen. Karen, I'm thinking. Chocolate right. coconut brownie. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll give you that. That sounds flippin' awesome. Okay, there you go, look. Well done. Mainly because my arm is really killing me. <laughs> so, I've got my ramekins. 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 Where did you say ramekins was like some kind of meat oh, or Flemish. something? It comes from, a, yeah, it means meat, um, pressed meat or something or other, which is weird. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. This looks like, uh, like a, the best chocolate mousse it does, ever. doesn't it? Wow. So this is our cheats souffle going into the uh, ramekins. Cheats souffle. Getting in there. Now the idea oh, it's pouring quite nicely, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Um, yeah, the Tracy's going to self-sourcing puddings as well. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Margaret loves the self-sourcing. I'll tell you what, it's just self. We're gonna, you're going to have to do a self-sourcing pudding recently. Well, I did do one, I oh, think, just whole, over a year ago. Yeah, we did. We so might do that. You did like five in a row. Maybe I will maybe we revisit because they were yeah, in the microwave good. type jobby ones too. They were. Okay, so we've got those there and I'm going to chuck them in the oven. Give them a shake. Oh, what do you do that? Luck. Just to settle them down a little bit? Uh, just because I had a just cause. hand. I just wanted it a little bit more even. Nice. Uh, temperature in the oven 180 is? degrees in a preheated oven. That's fan bake. 180 uh, degrees preheated So if you don't bake. have fan bake, it would be around 200 actually. Nice. And I'm really hoping 
that. Oz. Lana's just done a lovely thing. She gave a lot of her baking and herbs and spices to a friend because they didn't have much, and she and they had some people staying. It's oh, very good of you, Lana. That's nice. That's a nice thing to do. What a well lovely done. thing to do. Are we do. doing more? Yeah. Oh, wow. So what now we we're now? making the sauce. Oh, can you even up your, bo your board a little bit? Oh. It's offending my... Did I move it? Yeah, it's gone a bit bung. Is that's that all right? Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. <sighs> offending Getting my... trouble. <laughs> Symmetry. <laughs> okay. So butter, 30 grams of butter, oh, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now I'm going to go over to the stove, and I'm going to put that on a medium heat. Nice. Right. So this is our sauce. So this is our um, chocolate and ginger sauce. Now if you wanted to use cinnamon, you could use cinnamon. You could even spice it up and use like... Um, like star anise or something oh, like that, that and nice. then remove it or cloves oh. or anything like that would be really 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 nice even like some cardamom with a squeeze of orange juice Yummy. would be really nice now so for the people who are just joining us we just had a little spike in the old um uh, people joining us thing oh. um so we've got a competition running if you post yes. your favorite winter pudding on the in the the chat there then you go in the draw to win a Mrs. Rogers prize pack. And if you join the group, you'll see the people post um, the prizes that they win all the time. So and you can see honestly, they're actually guys, it's pretty better. Good. It's, you've and you've got, got a very good chance of a, winning. Yeah, you've got a better <laughs> chance of winning. Now, the prize is not going to be drawn until uh, Wednesday next week. Sorry, yes. had, to, had to think had to then. Think about that. What day is it? Hump day? Yeah, what day? What day is it today? I've only had three coffees, obviously, not enough. So we're just wanting to. Uh, Get the butter melted and get the sugar dissolved. We are making the cheats version of the souffle. You can watch this video back. If you're coming into this late, Facebook will post it up. Um, and we also chuck it on YouTube. So if you go to mrsrogers.co.nz forward slash YouTube, you will be able to see um, the, all of the recipes that we do. Yeah. Yep. And you'll get... And the good thing about YouTube as well is that they're, they're broken up into like um, desserts or dinners yeah. or uh, snacks. Yep. or it makes it nice and easy. So it makes it nice and easy, particularly if you're yeah. looking for, a, you know, a particular occasion or something. something like that. Yep. Uh, it does make it a little bit easier than just watching us. Or you can oh, just watch so us. Silly. Silly. Actually, it would be really funny to go back and watch the very first one we did and it see how, how far we've come now. Yeah. And because of you guys, because you make us do better. It's good. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, Tamara, she's tossing up between the chocolate self sourcing, another self sourcing pudding call, and toffee and date pudding with caramel sauce. Mm. Mm. So, what's your, the sauce you're making at the moment? That's a caramel, is it? No, no this, is this? this is actually lost, a version of a chocolate sauce. A chocolate sauce. Sorry, got confused. Let's get the chocolate sauce going on. And uh, anything chocolatey, Samantha's. Samantha's not fussy. She's like, yeah, just anything chocolatey is good. Just a block of chocolate just with some whipped cream on yeah, top. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, anything chocolatey. All good skis. And Mel, Mel's mum made steam pudding with caramel sauce. Actually, Samantha, I want to know how long it took you to do all those emoticons and the <laughs> emojis in there. You've the, got a donut and a chocolate cake and another cake and some chocolate and some coffee. All happening. Oh, yeah, coffee there. chocolate sauce would be really nice too. Coffee chocolate? Oh, go on then. Well, I, I'm not doing that today. No, but you've got other things But you to do. could remove um, the ginger and put some coffee that. in here. All right then. A little bit of instant coffee would work. Now you can see that my um, sugar is dissolved you nicely can, there. That. So I'm going to get all my other bits and pieces to chuck in. All right. Chicken? No, no chuck not in. chicken. Chuck in. Not chuck in. To chuck in. All right. Okay. Well so I have some Mrs. Rogers ginger. I've said a teaspoon, but put as little or as much as you like. If you really want a pop of that ginger, put in two teaspoons. Nice. Is oh, anyone going away for the winter? Smells like ginger crunch. Hey, cruise alert. Going on our cruise soon. Yeah, how many days is it now? Like Three weeks or something. Three and a half weeks. Twenty? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. We're going on the cruise. I don't it's know. It's going to be so much fun. I think it was Margaret that was saying she's she she. Did you know it was a Margaret? I can't remember Margaret. I'm, apologies. I think that you said that you. No, I can't remember now. I'm putting my foot in if I say anything, aren't I? 
Now I've got some vanilla essence in there and I'm using a variety of um, Choco. chocolates. I've got the same dark chocolate that I used in the souffle. Yum. But I've also got um, just some chocolate pieces, I think they call it. Okay. I don't know. It's dark chocolate as well, but not as dark. Because I used 85% chocolate. Nice. So I'm just... Are we almost there, everybody? We we're not, are. We're not we are too far away. There. I know this has been a bit of a long one. Uh, Only because you won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. And now some cream. <laughs> so the idea of this is that we're going to... It's looking lovely. Bring it to nearly the boil. We yep. want more of a simmer. Because obviously sugar burns very quickly and so there's quite a lot of sugar it. in here. Gotta keep an eye on it. Uh, so I'm just going to crank that up. Karina's just saying she misses her grandma's puddings. I think Lana oh. does as well. She Did she leave the recipes? Oh, they, they use a rice cooker and when um, they open the lid, it reminds of a rice pudding. Oh. oh, that's cool. Well, that's nice. Well, that's Isn't that nice memory. though? Isn't that cool that you can have a little bit of a memory every time you open the rice cooker? You got a memory of your grandmother. I read a thing the other day, and I thought this was pretty cool. If you ever, I may have mentioned it the other day, I can't remember. If you ever go away on holiday and it's a new place, get a brand new album and listen to it. So music, just music, like you, music. Uh, sorry, listen, yeah. listen, or get you know, load up on Spotify and then listen to that album lots because then when you um, hear that album again in the future, it will remind you specifically of where you were at that time. Or, or you could choose an alcoholic drink that you drink every night. <laughs> and then when you drink that alcoholic drink again, it's going to remind you. <laughs> you could. So you stick to a specific cocktail yeah. every evening. And then whenever you have that cocktail. You'll go, oh, I remember when I, I was remember. on the boat and that espresso martini. Damn, Damn that, was that was good. good. Well done. All right. Slightly different. Oh, okay. Same concept. Not quite. No, I'll give you that. Same Not concept. Quite. Same concept. Yep, well done. Or a particular food. Yep. Like that cruise was the cruise that we didn't do keto and, and we, we just got ate really everything. fat. <laughs> it was great. I had terrible tummy upsets. No, just... But that was fun. So, so look at our YouTube. We're, going, we're trying to get some stuff on the cruise. So we, we won't be streaming live from the cruise, we don't think, um, because it might be a little bit I difficult. think the internet will be dodged I think the from what I've heard. Slow, um, but we are hoping to... Um, do some videos. Do some videos. So we're trying to get on the captain's table uh, and see what that's like. Because I reckon that'd be fun. Yeah, hey, Mel, Mel has totally agreed with you. <laughs> on the alcoholic drink. <laughs> Sounds legit. <laughs> well, I'll always remember when my friends and I went out and my girlfriend really wanted a green frog shot. Now, it's not frog. called a green frog, no, but I'll tell you... it's called something slightly different. It's called something very different. Very different, But effect. she was absolutely adamant it was called a green frog now it was the baileys with the layer of um midori on top so not hence the green frog which is way better description of it yeah, than but she just made up green frog then um but yeah it confused the bartender until we gave him some signage and then he went oh, oh that but forevermore it will be known as nice. a green frog alana will we'll chuck on some foster and ellen uh, she says it reminds me of a grandmother. We'll chuck some on later for you. Well, not in this live. We'll just do it at home. But, uh, in just the demo on the Mrs. Solace. Rogers Test Kitchen. Okay, we so we're just wanting to bring this. Oh, it's taking a little, bit of a, a little bit of a... Um, I'm right. just going to see if I can crank that crank up, it up a bit. a little bit. Well, Without people burning. People things to do. I know. I'm Although sorry, they everybody. can, as I keep saying, watch it later on YouTube. Exactly. Or watch it now. And good luck I in the just, competition, everybody. There's lots of good good entries there. Oh, and yeah, hey, yeah. share and, and maybe even tag a friend that is not like doesn't oh, know go. about it. Yeah, us. tag a friend who you think <laughs> should make you pudding. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, just just do that. That sounds like that's a very, a good, very one. good idea. Mm, okay. I'm just looking back on these comments. Look at that chocolate coconut brownie. That's, that sounds like me. Oh, now the chocolate coconut brownie, is that made with coconut flour? Um, Because that would know. be really nice. It was, a it was the chocolate coconut brownie made with. Well, normally a Let us know. Yes, that would be really, really tasty. So Jane now, likes a treacle sponge pudding. 
It's nice. starting to come to the boil. Okay, I've lost your overhead camera, so you're just gonna have to okay, come sure. back to us soon, because it's coming. So I'm just stirring it a I think lot. The, I think the heat of the oh. oven is stubborn with my camera. Possibly. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, we'll so learn. we just want it, it, it's still a pouring sauce, so you just I've want to get it to a consistency. It's all right. That good. Uh, is, it's pourable. Mm. But we also want that silkiness. Now, as I said, you can use this sauce on just about anything. It would be really yum Yum. over just a normal chocolate cake or uh, like pancakes, a stack of pancakes dripping down the side. Yep. Just dribbling over the top. Steak, you know, on your... Steak. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Nothing like a bit of steak on your chocolate sauce. So can you see it? Overhead, is this overhead camera all right? I'm going to give it a crack, Nige. Wait a minute. Because I want you to see how beautiful and glossy. That looks silky and glossy. It really does. Just lift it up up a little bit so we can see that. Because that that actually does look... That was worth the effort. Wow. Yeah, it is worth the effort. It's a really nice chocolate sauce. I mean, you can just make a ganache with, you know, sort of... So Karen said it's made with just normal coconut. You can do that with toasted coconut. Oh, yeah. That would be lovely. Yeah. And thanks, Alana, for sharing in the group. You're a star. Remember there we have the group? Gosh, that looks good. Yeah. Will your um, other puddings be ready? The well, souffles? they could be very close to it. Oh, that's that's why I was... Um, that's what you're hoping to achieve? Well, yeah, because my other one's gone very flat now. It has its collapse. You were saying before that you need to sort of have these um, souffles rather quickly. Yeah, you need to eat them quickly. I think they're probably nearly... Nearly right. And the probably thing good is, because facey. we... They'll be fine for Facebook. I'm going to take out the best one. All right, then. The best one here. Look how that's... Oh, yumskies. I'm just going to leave those guys in there a little bit longer. Now, this is another handy trick. This is a tea strainer, and I'm not telling you to have a cup of tea with it. (laughs) But what I have in here is a little bit of icing sugar. Oh, look at that. That's cool. So, so you're not having to use your massive blimmin... You're not having to use your massive sieve, and it's a finer mesh, so you're yeah. going to get... Because I'm, I'm not fancy pants, I don't have one of those sieves. And I did intentionally sprinkle it around the board, because I like that You're going to make it look pretty. Is that the, is this the serving? Pretty. Yeah, I'm going to serve it on this one. Yeah, cool. So, like ideally, because it's winter. Oh, you can lift the spoon up and it would look cool. It will. Hang on. Oh, I haven't got another gonna, one of those finished. spoons. So look at that. Look at that. So this I, is a, this is all about presentation. So if you're having absolutely. people around for a winter meal, you've done get this. Get some little individual jugs little, from little like individual things. somewhere cheap. Little individual jugs. You can put this on a plate or a board. Look, you can look at that. pop your spoon somewhere else, and then and then and then yeah. they can pour it. I can pour the chocolate on. Stuff. Now, can you see that this is starting to, oh, wait a minute. to just, to just deflate a little bit? Is it? But okay. that's the whole point of a souffle. Yeah, well, you're eating it straight away. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, Chocolate sauce is going, I don't know, people sauce. who stuck around and watched this, well done, congratulations, because this is oh. pay dirt here. This is the... Oh, that is just... I don't want to burn my face. Don't burn your face. It's really hot. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to fuff on it. That looks pretty, pretty good. Is it nice? Oh. Okay, <laughs> bye. That face though. <laughs> well done. See ya. I'll no, just... just kidding. So do, do explain what you're eating. Okay, it is really nice. It's got Yummo. a denseness Melted. to it. Yummo. Um, Without being heavy, you know how everybody's saying self-sourcing puddings. This is a similar kind of concept. See if you can bring, bring it up to the camera close enough, closer. See if you can bring it up. Similar there. concept. It's there like a hot chocolate I'll mousse. Bring it back a little bit. There you are, a little bit hard to see, but that's pretty good. It's like a hot chocolate mousse. If you can think of the consistency of light, airy. Oh, you had me on hot um, chocolate mousse. Holy. Yeah. Oh. That's good. <laughs> worth the effort, eh? It's worth the effort. And listen, guys, it's actually not that hard. Because... No. I never make. Because I've mucked around a lot talking. Well, yeah. Samantha, it is yummy. Absolutely. Karen's going to give it a crack. And Karen, post a photo up. Join the group. Yeah, post a photo. I can't remember. Not sure. 
Um, oh. post, post it in the group. Margaret is a yummy. It does look amazing. Alani, absolutely right. It does right. look. Look at that. And do you know what? If you ever so slightly undercook it, it's probably almost better. It would be like a bomb. Wait, I'm going to have to come and try. <laughs> okay, I'll okay, let you wait, have this you, bit. You keep that bit there. You keep talking because I'm going to have to drop I'm the microphone. I'm going to flip on, on it for him. I'm coming, o- but I'm it coming is over. A, it's a really, really, it's not sickly. It's a rich dessert. Uh, now, you can mix it up by changing your chocolates. You could use a milk chocolate. I myself prefer the dark chocolate because it does give that richness without the sweet. Uh, but oh, he's, he's coming yeah. in. He's coming. Oh, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft and fluffy. Don't don't pick don't it up. You'll you oh, well, burn we'll your hands. It'll be bad. I'm just gonna try one more bit. Yeah. Just since I'm here. Okay. Just get some of that sauce. Yeah, it's in like there. a. It's a soft and light and airy. It's like mm. a hot chocolate mousse. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's it's great. Really so everybody, if I can do it, you can. Because mm. I'm just a quick, easy cook. And to be honest, that was not that much faffing around. It was a little bit of faffing around, but not much. Mmm. Yum. Well, there you go. So, That's how to make it. there you it. go. That is my idea of how to make it. All the chefs will be rolling around going, no. <laughs> But do you know what? Who cares? It tastes good. And that's what I'm all about. So if you make it, send us a photo or uh, post it in the group. Love to see any kind of feedback. It would be awesome. Uh, let me know what you want to cook next. Yeah. Uh, chuck it through. Oh, I can really taste the ginger in it. Mm, it's beautiful. It came through afterwards. Mm. Mm. So anyway, guys, yeah. that is my easy chocolate mousse or cheats chocolate uh, huh. souffle. Sorry, not mousse. Grace said she loved it with ice cream. Yeah, you could yeah, put you a could big put it dollop on, of on ice cream. Side, yeah. on Wouldn't the put it on side top, would you? Because that'd make it all too yucky. Well, the ice cream would melt very quick. Mm. But yeah, you could put That's it on awesome. the side. Would be awesome. Anyway, we'll leave you to it. We'll leave you to it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, we- we'll be back live again soon. Yes, Happy hopefully internet. Friday. Right. Fingers crossed. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Welcome. See you guys. Bye. Thank Thanks you for, for all the comments and loves and likes and sharing and the, all the rest and all the best with the competition. See ya. <laughs>